All right, catching up with Mr. Stassi here. Uh, you're doing a little off-season workout, getting ready to, to head to spring training soon. Uh, what do you look to improve on? What, what, are, what are your goals as you're here working out and even in the off-season? Uh, I just try to take it one day at a time. You know, I, I believe in the process and, and uh, getting wrapped up in that, you know, not worrying about results and just going out every day and competing. That's the main thing. You go out and compete and, you know, things will line up for you. But, you know, as far as goals this year, I just want to, you know, just go out and, like I said, compete, stay healthy, and uh, have a successful year. Your father, uh, Jim Stassi, was a Sacramento B All-Metro guy way back in the day. We just aged him. Uh, and he got to coach all of his sons, won championships. He's retired from coaching. He gets to watch you guys. What, what lessons did you learn from him then, and what are you still learning from him now? Uh, he's taught me everything in, in life, you know, on the field, off the field. And, uh, you know, he just he's always always preached to us. You know, that's that's the main thing. you got to put in a lot of work if you want to be successful at something. And, and uh, you know, that's that's pretty much the, the root of, you know, what he taught us, you know, just the little things in, in life. And, you know, when we would screw up in school or something, he would he would make sure that he taught us a lesson there. But, yeah, I'm very thankful for, for everything he's taught us. You look, you had quite the talented teams. And uh, do you recall those moments uh, very often? What stands out for you? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I work out with a group of guys that, that went to Jesuit and a few went to Oak Ridge and, and uh, Bella Vista. So... I make sure that, you know, I let them know about the Honker Nation, and uh, we are uh, SAC B uh, number one, I think, for about a year and a half. So, yeah, we were uh, held down that number one ranking, and us and Jesuit, I remember, in high school. But it was uh, a lot of fun. That was the time of my life, you know, playing high school for uh, high school baseball with, with the Yuba City Honkers. And what's a lesson that you might give to aspiring high school athletes, um, you know, effort and pride and all that? I mean, you still carry that all these years later. What's a message you might give? Uh, just stick to your roots. You know, I'm always going to be a honker. And, uh, you know, it, it's, like I said, one of those things, hard work, pride in, in where you come from, and, and uh, you know, always stay humble. You know, there, there's going to be uh, times where, you know, there's opportunities for you to feel like you're you're the man. But always remember that there's somebody that's bigger and better than you that you've always got to uh, try to outwork them. Well, one last question. Biggest throw for you so far uh, professionally, uh, things that stand out? A hit whatever it is uh yeah i'd say my first uh hit in the big leagues you know that was a pretty special moment you know with my dad there in the stands and and uh it was a whirlwind for 24 hours but that's probably the the highlight of my career so far and, and uh hopefully a couple world series you know appearances wouldn't be bad either here in the near future